How does teaching influence your art practice? Well, most of my students are first year students. So I'm dealing with people who haven't really experienced the art world before or don't have preconceived notions for the most part. So, you know, in my writing course, my students are constantly submitting new artists and talking about new artists and movements that I'm unfamiliar with. So I'm sort of learning as I go sometimes because there's so much to talk about and there's always more things that are new and relevant. And I have film students and I have design students. So it's always interesting to sort of hear what people who are just starting are, are thinking about. And this semester I'm teaching intro paint, which is the first time I've ever taught a painting class. And I'm assigning different genres through, through which painters, um, through which painters experience painting, such as uh, still life painting we started with, and I gave them free reign in the projects to take the genre of still life painting and do with it what they wanted. And and for people who had never painted before, some of these projects were incredibly imaginative, and there was an investment in the painting that. Um, I wasn't expecting and most recently we did landscape painting which is the the genre I guess of which most of my paintings would fall under and um, you know I tried to get them to imagine landscape painting in an expansive way and and the the paintings were always surprising to me and they make me question my own work and and they keep me relevant um, you know and it's just so, I'm so fortunate to get to, you know, teach the, the next generation because, you know, no matter what they do, they'll always have been changed by my ideas and the things I'm working on. And, and it really is a, as corny as it sounds, a reciprocal discourse.